Hey Guam, I'm Regine Bisco Lee, and I'm running for senator to promote a safe, prosperous, and healthy community for our families. I'm excited to share my experience and accomplishments as a policy advisor, community advocate, and small business owner with you, and my ideas to. enhance public safety, strengthen our economy, and promote a clean, healthy island. I humbly ask for your vote for strong families and a strong Guam.
create new jobs and business opportunities. Continue shaping a smaller and more efficient government. Bring the highest honor and respect to our veterans. Protect life. These are some of the most important tenets of the Republican Party of Guam. And you will see these values in action with Republican mayors in every village and a Republican in Congress. It's time to change the voice. For the good of the people, it's time to vote Republican. This lineup is brought to you by AutoSpot, Guam's fastest growing dealership with in-house financing. You'll be amazed what we can do. Closed captioning is brought to you by IT&E Life in Motion. KUAM News Headlines is presented by Calvo's Insurance, a legacy of trust, serving Micronesia since 1938. Matson Navigation, serving Guam and Micronesia for 20 years. Cars Plus, Dodge Challenger, the undisputed champion. IP&E, fueling excellence. McDonald's of Guam, I'm loving it. Pacific Solar and King's Restaurant, located in Timuning and Dededo. Always open, always local. The medical examiner has ruled the death of a body border to be a homicide. Millions of dollars in annual COLA checks are being prepped for release. And one man says he was recycling, but the Guam EPA does not see it that way and issued a violation notice. Good evening, everybody. In half a day, we begin our broadcast tonight with the medical examiner having ruled one case a homicide. We're talking about a night out on the town amongst friends that ended violently and we should warn you this report does contain disturbing video and may not be appropriate for sensitive viewers. Crystal Paco has a story. After viewing this surveillance video and conducting an autopsy, Chief Medical Examiner Dr. Aurelio Espinola determined Brian Cruz's death was a homicide. Dr. Espinola tells KUAM that Cruz sustained a skull fracture, subdural hematoma, and hemorrhaging. The surveillance video that quickly went viral on social media and WhatsApp chat groups was consistent with details released in court documents earlier this week. In the early morning hours of October 22nd, just before 3 a.m., Brian Cruz is seen shirtless and appears to be upset. Court documents state he was out partying with his three friends, Richard Bergadio, Alfredo Castro, and J.C. White in Tumon. The video shows White punching Cruz, who is knocked unconscious instantly. The three men pull him up and drop him on the sidewalk. After Cruz was knocked unconscious, court documents state the men placed him in the back of a sedan and went to Linda's Cafe to eat. A riot broke out involving five other men, and Cruz was discovered in the back seat. He died days later at the Guam Memorial Hospital. The Attorney General's office stated on Wednesday that Cruz's passing may affect the charges against the defendants. White and Castro have since posted bail, while Regadio remains in custody. Cruz was a beloved local bodyboarder, more affectionately called the Ripper, for his skills in the surf. He was 35 years old. As part of his autopsy, Dr. Espinola will also be conducting toxicology testing. Results could take up to a week. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. He allegedly padlocked a woman and her three young children in her dead at home, and now he's in the lockup for terrorizing and, law and unlawful restraint. Court documents state the woman had to phone police for help getting out. When they arrived, 39-year-old Jesse Joey Tidequi Jackson was still aggressive and made threats to a police officer, stating, quote, after he's released, he would, quote, wax him. He was booked and confined. Saint or sinner, it appears defense for Frances Kanatha will contend that she was merely trying to help individuals looking to strike a deal with airline tickets, not deceive them. Crystal Paco reports. While trial is scheduled for next week, the Attorney General's office is asking the court to keep evidence out, specifically anything related to Frances Kanatha's job with ITS services back in 2013. According to court documents, defense is alleging ITS owed Kanata over $42,000. While she was employed with the company, she was helping friends strike deals on airline tickets. 
Since there was time between their departure periods, she'd allegedly used their money to keep the business afloat, expecting the company would pay her in time to purchase the airline tickets. When ITS couldn't pay her back, she would use funds given to her from others trying to purchase airline tickets to buy tickets for others. That plan didn't pan out for at least five victims, all of whom were allegedly deceived by Kanata from February to July of 2015. The AG's office alleges her defense is weak. Quote, this court cannot allow Kenyatta to confuse and possibly mislead the jury by arguing that she did not commit the crimes charged because someone else owed her money or because she needed these victims' monies to pay for the other's travel. Such would confuse the jury into thinking that it is a valid defense to steal from one victim to make another victim whole. End quote. Prosecutors are also hoping the court will consider including Kanata's prior criminal history into evidence, which includes a California conviction for two counts of grand theft and a federal conviction for unauthorized use of an access device in the U.S. District Court of Guam. Assistant Public Defender William Bischoff opposed the motion to exclude the information on her work at ITS, stating, quote, The proffered evidence is intended to show that at the time the defendant took money from any of the alleged victims, she did not intend to deceive them. She intended that they receive their airline tickets, end quote. In court on Thursday, Judge Michael Bordaglio stated he'd address the motion on Monday. Meanwhile, Kinata was indicted earlier this week in a separate case involving theft by deception and the issuance of dishonored checks. The alleged victim was a 69-year-old woman. Prosecutors noted there is no intention to merge the cases. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. Guam Education Board Legal Counsel Gary Gumatata was speaking out saying that certain board members are violating the Federal Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act as well as the Title IX every time they discuss the investigation and student complaint. He said, in his opinion, at least one board member broke the law by leaking the investigation report, although he does not yet know who may have done it. He claimed board members are putting per personal agendas ahead of their duties to student safety, adding, quote, every effort is being made by certain people to thwart the investigation and the good faith efforts of the board to comply with Title IX. Earlier this week, board member Peter Alexis Atta spoke out on behalf of the board, saying the leak report did not come from any board member. In other news tonight, a Dedido resident will be facing quite the hefty fine after creating an unpermitted recycling facility on Chamorro Land Trust property. Isa Baza explains. Turning trash into cash. That was the hope of one Dedido resident who will now be paying a $4,000 fine for creating an unpermitted recycling facility on Chamorro Land Trust property. We had a call from the fire department. Uh, the person, I guess, is a, a habitual um, violator. Uh, we've actually issued uh, him a notice of violation in the past. So this is the second notice of violation that we've issued. We've also uh, reached out to Chamorro Land Trust to see what type of assistance they can provide for their recipient. According to Guam EPA Acting Solid Waste Administrator Glenn St. Nicholas, the resident was issued a notice of violation on October 19. He was cited for solid waste violations including accumulation of plastics, tires and metals, as well as burning those items to retrieve the metals inside. He was creating sort of like a recycling facility, so he didn't have a permit to do that. And uh, his practice in processing uh, was not acceptable because he was burning, uh, you know, metals. Uh, he was burning fiberglass uh, and other tires to retrieve metals from those materials to recycle. So he was reminded that in order to uh, have a facility like that, they need to submit a a permit application for recycling and of course uh, all recycling facilities are not allowed to burn at all. So Nicholas said the perpetrator has 15 days to meet with Guam EPA's administrator or board and plead his case or 20 days to clean up the site. He reminds the public that having these types of facilities is illegal and residents must get proper permitting. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Issa Baza. It is time for a break, but primetime continues right here on KUAM, right after these messages.
There are more ways to experience KUAM News than any other source on Guam. Download the KUAM News app for your Apple or Android device for 24-7 news, sports, videos, weather, streaming with KUAM radio, and important news alerts. And stay connected at home with Guam's first app for Apple TV. All available now from the App Store. Have you gotten paid yet? That's the premium automatic insurance deduction plan from Calvo's Insurance. Paid simplifies your home and auto insurance. No down payment. No more long lines. And you can stretch your payments up to 12 months. Paid is convenient. It deducts from your payroll, your checking account, or your credit card. With Paid, you get up to 65% off your car insurance and enjoy lifestyle club discounts. Life can be easier when you get paid. Call Calvo's Insurance today and save on your home and auto insurance. Hi, I'm interested in one of your new Samsung devices. I have the one just for you. We're increasing the amount of 4G LTE data on our new rate plans, giving people more of what they want to do more of the things they want. So what do you think? Nice. Other day, I'm Joe T. San Augustine, currently serving you as the Governor of Guam Retirement Board Chairman. I was a 10-term Senator and served three of those terms as Speaker. I humbly ask for your vote to support my son, Joe S. San Augustine, for Senator, to carry the legacy to serve our people of Guam in the legislature. Thank you. Madeline Berdayo has been a champion for Guam and has worked every day to improve our island. She knows that a good education is key to a brighter future for students like me. She has advocated for millions of dollars in federal grants for UOG and GCC. And I know that she continues to work for a strong economy so that I can have a good paying job when I graduate. Madeline Berdayo has a strong record of results for Guam. Let's build on the progress she has made and re-elect her as our voice in Congress. I'm Madeline Berdayo and I approve of this message. I'm voting for Tommy Morrison because he knows how important technology is in keeping our families safe and making government services more efficient. I'm voting for Tommy Morrison because our families must have a real voice in deciding how our communities should be developed. We're supporting Tommy Morrison because he delivers for young athletes like us. We're voting for Tommy Morrison because as an athlete himself, he knows what it takes to keep our families engaged in safe and healthy activities. I am Tommy Morrison and I humbly ask for your vote. Buenas, I'm Joseph Fada, former governor of Guam. It is time for our younger generation to lead Guam into the future. Fernando Estavis, a proven leader that has the character, intelligence, and ability to make the right changes now for a brighter future for generations to come. Please vote for Fernando Barcinas Estavis for senator. I'm Fernando Estavis, and I approve this message. Connect with KUAM News. Find us on your favorite social media platform. Follow us and stay in the know with Guam's news leader. Hoffman, welcome back. They have decades of experience between them. And today, for the first time, all three candidates running for the Consolidated Commission on Utilities came together for a forum hosted by the Rotary Club of Guam. Also in attendance was our Ken Quintanita, who files this next report. Two seats are up for grabs on the Consolidated Commission on Utilities this election. And while he's on his fourth retirement, Eloy Hara is hoping for a comeback. However, when I came back on island and went to another round of load shedding, I said, I think it's uh, this time I see if I can get back and exert some pressure where pressure is needed. Hara served on the CCU between 2006 to 2014 and is a former GPA Deputy General Manager and GMH Administrator. For Judy Guthard, she actually was one of the original CCU members when it started in 2003. The University of Guam professor and three-term senator wants to be the consumer advocate for everybody who buys power and water on Guam. I think that's really what's missing right now, is someone that people can talk to about issues with respect to how consumers feel about what the CCU does, because we do affect their lives. And for current chairman Joey Duaneus, he's hoping to retain his seat on the CCU. 
He has over 25 years of experience in the public and private sector, including seven years as the director of Revenue Tax. We've cut costs. We've cut costs in terms of the number of employees. We've cut costs in all different operational areas. And we've continually strove, strive to improve service. And when it comes to keeping the power running in light of recent issues, Duania says they have to look at replacing aging generation. We're going to repower generation. We believe we can do this with no rate increase. And we believe that it's going to improve service, which is very important for this community. Hara, meanwhile, says it's more about service than cost, whereas Guthers wants to look toward public-private partnerships. One is that we have a continue, reliable, uh, efficient, uh, you know, power service throughout the community. I support partnerships, and G GPA, GWA has embarked on partnerships with private providers, and I think this works well for our system on Guam. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. And right now on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash News, you can stream the entire forum. Good stuff. Two congressional candidates squared off again, this time before the University of Guam Alumni Association. Among the questions posed to incumbent delegate Madeline Bergaglio and former Governor Felix Camacho was what was their commitment to the university as the Western Pacific's only four-year institution of higher learning? Supporting legislation that will make college more affordable for young people or promoting UOG's strong history of cultural preservation and awareness. I have worked hard to ensure that UOG has the resources and the support from the federal government. It is the link, and it has been the link to the Western Pacific and this Asia Pacific region. In my time as governor, I have seen leaders throughout the Pacific, all throughout the FSM, the Republic of Palau, the Republic of the Marshall Islands, the Northern Marianas. They are all products of the University of Guam. We must do everything we can to ensure that this institution remains vibrant. Camacho drew laughs by adding that he has also supported UOG by paying the tuition of two of his daughters who are graduates of the university. For her part, Berdalia pointed out that three of her top staffers are also alumni of UOG. Good news tonight. If you are a public sector retiree, as GovGuam retirees will be receiving their annual COLA in the next couple of days. That's cost of living allowance, not the soda. According to Adeloupe, more than $15 million was ordered to be released by the governor for the annual payment, which was sent to the retirement fund Wednesday. The chief executive added that there are 7,800 retirees and survivors alike who rely on the cost of living allowance. Former Hagatnya Mayor Felix Ngata has passed away. Governor Eddie Calvo and Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio say Guam lost a great public servant and have ordered flags be flown at half staff in honor of the life and achievements of one of Guam's longest serving mayors. Ngata was first elected in 1980 and served until 2005. He and his wife Evelyn had four children. Ngata was 78. Mayor Ngata, a very, very nice guy. Always said so hi to you. Right. Always asked how your family was doing. You actually covered him a bunch of times, I remember. Yeah, and uh, that was the story we did actually in 2007 mm -hmm. about him and his wife and their relationship and uh, how they ran that hot dog stand mm -hmm. in Agania. Yeah. yeah, well, our thoughts and prayers and our sympathies go out to the entire Ngata family. We'll be back after this. Oh, today, Coco Crazy. Remember to stay hydrated, drink a lot of water before, during the race, and after the race. Drink about a cup of cold water an hour before you run, and again 10 to 15 minutes before the race, too. Arr. Try to take big sips every 20 minutes during your run, and when you feel thirsty, don't ignore the feeling. And if you don't feel good during your race, take a break and let your parents know. My name is Brock and I approve this message.
27 years I've been an attorney on Guam and I've represented families, small businesses. I am a small business owner myself and I've, I've worked with the many government of Guam agencies and the Guam legislature. I'm running for senator because I want to help the people of Guam and I believe I can bring my skills and my experience and really make a difference in the Guam legislature. I'm Therese Terlahi, and I approve this message. There's a reason why you keep going. When it's your own hard work that brought you to this point. You do everything to protect what you've earned. Because every move that brings you closer to your goals leaves you no excuse but to keep moving forward. This is what makes you an Alpha. Monster saving, huge rebates, massive discounts. It's a monster sale going on now at Cars Plus and Mighty. Through Monday, save thousands on Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Hyundai, and Fiat vehicles in stock. Like the Ram 1500 voted Guam's best truck, save up to 10 grand off. Or save up to 7,000 off a Dodge Journey or Hyundai Genesis. How about the Hyundai Tucson Turbo, now just $24,995. Visit CarsPlusGuam.com for easy shopping and quick financing. It's a monster sale. Now through Monday at Cars Plus and Mighty. Cars Plus, driven by you. Right, we're getting ready. Uh, excuse me. Hey, Flacco, what's in the bag? McDonald's new Mighty Wings. Mm, those look good. I'll play you for them. For what? My wings? First one to miss has to watch the other one eat. Let's go. Left up right. I want the off the scoreboard through the uprights. Oh, man. Not again. Cap, you trying to get my wings? Nah, I'm right here. What's that noise? Senator Brant McCready continues to address issues head-on that matter most to the people of Guam. Senator McCready has fought to reduce senatorial salaries since his first term in 2013. He fought to eliminate wasteful spending at the legislature by introducing a measure that would prohibit the use of government funds for travel. Senator McCready continues to invest in public safety by introducing legislation to hire 200 new police officers to protect and serve our community. Senator McCready fights for victims of violent crimes by introducing the Vulnerable Victims Act of 2014 and Three Strikes Law. In addition, he defends victims of sexual abuse with the Predator Prevention Act and the Chemical Castration for Sex Offenders Act of 2015. Senator Brant McCready works to protect your family and Guam's future. Vote for your public safety senator number 10 on the Republican ballot. This is what precision feels like. Magnetic ride control actively monitors road conditions a thousand times per second to deliver a comfortable ride. A thousand times, huh? Yeah, per second. How about that? This is the new, meticulously crafted 2016 Sierra Denali from GMC. This is the precision of professional grade. Or get nearly 7,300 total value on select specially equipped 2016 Sierra Crew Cab SLT vehicles in stock. Visit Autospot GMC today. KUAM Sports is presented by Triple J. I'm today, Guam. Chris Barnett with KUAM Sports, proudly brought to you by Triple J. 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 Yeah, what up? We kick it off with another episode of our Game Changer series. This time, profiling the offensive MVP of the Double I Double A G football season. DeAndre Cruz is all the way up. The father, Duaneus Friars, running back as a junior and already has a college offer to play football. And he's a big part of why the Friars are this close to repeating as double I, double AG football champs. Cruz, a six foot one, 200 pound beast and running back, runs a 4740, benches 245, and squats 405. The 2016 double I, double AG football offensive MVP. Worked hard to approve on his 2015 All-Island second team selection, and he has quite an impressive highlight reel circulating amongst college coaches. Now, as impressive as Cruz is on the field, he applies the same philosophy to his off-the-field endeavors. Whether it's hitting the weights or hitting the books, Cruz is as serious as a funeral home. 
especially when it comes to putting academics before athletics. Our coaches, they, um, they made us do like a study hall before every practice. So we would go into the cafeteria and we would do our homework there. And sometimes during school, I'll do it like when I'm breaking stuff. But if I don't finish it, I'll just go home and like stay up till like 12 like if I have to to finish it. Cruz had a monster season, including a 121-yard four-touchdown game against the Southern High Dolphins. And he only played the first half. DeAndre and the Friars put together a perfect season going undefeated with the FD Friars heading back to the IIAG football final in a rematch against their crosstown rivals, the Geckos. Cruz is hoping to repeat his stellar performance in the final. Last year, he scored three touchdowns in FD's win over GW on Halloween to seal the Friars' dream season. DeAndre says his goal game to game is to have fun, win, and try to rush for at least 100 yards every time, which means putting in work, work, work. Usually in the mornings, I'll go to the uh, Paradise, like 5 in the morning, and then like on the weekdays, I'll, buy, I'll probably like, go to the field and like do some like running and stuff. The soft-spoken young man hopes to snag a football scholarship on the Division I level, so look for him to have a huge senior year for FD in 2017. His future is bright, but right now, his focus is on continuing his status as a game changer. I look at the future, but I know like what I have to do in order to get up there. So I try to take care of my school stuff first and then worry about that after. All right. Hey, let's cause a racket with some tennis news. You tennis back in full swing Saturday at the Sheraton Laguna Guam Resort Tennis Courts with the under 12 tennis league fall season hosted by the Tennis Academy of Guam and sponsored by the Guam National Tennis Federation gets underway. Three age categories, U8, U10, and U12. Now, in addition to the Youth League, the GNTF and Tennis Academy Guam will be continuing to bring tennis to elementary schools around the island, providing activity sessions for students under the supervision of TAG coaches. GNTF will be donating tennis equipment to schools interested in continuing the program. Now, for more info, call Joe Cepeda, at 988-7479. The annual Governor Seal Magpro Awards 5K, 2K Fun Run and Walk Saturday, Chamorro Village, 515 Show, 6 a.m. Go. Pre-register at IFIT Guam and Timuning, 7 bucks per person or 25 for a group of four. Event includes cash prizes for Halloween costume contests. Race day registration, $10 per person. All right. Hey, you guys have a great Thursday. Be sure to check us out uh, tomorrow. And don't forget tonight, the FD Phoenix Center, we kick off the Guam Basketball Association playoffs. What, what? All right. On behalf of our sports director, Dave Delgado, show at KUAM.com. My name's Chris Barnett, and you keep on shining, Guam. Adios! The fifth annual Fall Fiesta is on at Nissan. Slide behind the wheel of a new workhorse Frontier Crew Cab, including Bluetooth split rear bench with 79. The annual Governor Seal Magpro Awards 5K, 2K Fun Run and Walk Saturday, Chamorro Village, 515 show, 6 a.m. go. Pre-register at IFIT Guam and Timuning, 7 bucks per person or 25 for a group of four. Event includes cash prizes for Halloween costume contests. Race day registration, $10 per person. All right. Hey, you guys have a great Thursday. Be sure to check us out uh, tomorrow. And don't forget tonight, the FD Phoenix Center, we kick off the Guam Basketball Association playoffs. What, what? All right. On behalf of our sports director, Dave Delgado, show at KUAM.com. My name's Chris Barnett, and you keep on shining, Guam. Adios!
month, the fifth annual Fall Fiesta is on at Nissan. Slide behind the wheel of a new workhorse Frontier Crew Cab, including Bluetooth, split rear bench with underseat storage, and 6,300 pound towing capacity, all for only $137 per pay period. The best truck value on Guam. The four door crew cab starting at just $137 per pay period. At Nissan, we offer award winning cars, exceptional service, and best customer experience guaranteed. Get all the details at Nissan Upper Tumon. Half a day, I am Norris Underwood. What is our children's future? Will they have good jobs? Will they have quality health care? Will they be required to pay government debt? These are difficult questions which require hard work as well as courage and commitment. All answers begin with education. Our educational system is the key to a sustainable island society proud of its past and confident of its future. Building a strong economy, a reliable healthcare system, and making us safe all require ideas and talent, which starts with the classroom, a teacher, a child confident about his or her ability to build a strong society. Education is my commitment to you, and I will always have the courage of that commitment. Courage and commitment. Paid for by the committee to elect NBU, Ricardo Bordalio, treasurer. This is Nerissa Underwood, and I approve this ad. It's Chucktober at Chuck E. Cheese's Guam. Get a treat bag when you wear your costume to come play. Medium cheese pizzas are just 12 bucks. Mummy dogs are $3.99 and cotton candy is $1.99. Sign up for the costume contest on the 29th. And enjoy Chucktober at Chuck E. Cheese's Guam. Go, go for the Coco. Register for the Guam Coco Road Races. The all new Coco Road Race is bigger and better than ever. So join the Coco and start training today. We've added a 10K run walk to the half marathon and Ekaden relay. Run in costume and win cash prizes. Plus, enjoy live entertainment at the post race Monster Bash after the races. Register online now for the Guam Coco Road Races at guamcocoroadrace.com. It's back and bigger than ever. The big deal is going on now at Triple J. Scratch and win with every vehicle purchase for instant cash up to $1,000. Free tent, Kmart gift certificates, and more. Plus, save big with these deals like the Ford F-150 at only $165 per paycheck or the Mazda 3 at only $110 per paycheck. Triple J's biggest promotion of the year is going on now. Stop by today or visit us online at TripleJGuam.com and get free approved instantly. Trade-ins welcome. Conditions apply. See dealer for details. Triple J, customers first. And before we close out the news tonight, I'll catch you our latest round of birthday shout outs from the Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club. I was Club. able to do that during commercial break. I could catch the pin when I was flipping it. But, uh, well, people who are more adept at having a good day today are a birthday celebrant. So happy seventh birthday to Tegan. This comes from Mommy Daddy, your brother is Ezra, Keenan, and the entire family. Happy 20th birthday to Jasmine Molina from Mom, John, Isaiah, and family, Jericho, and Kitchishu and family. Or I think that might be a happy birthday to Jericho Kitchen Show. There you go. From the family. Edwin, I caught you that time. All right. Edwin St. Nicholas, missing you lots. Say Hope and Allie. And happy birthday from all of us at KUM and Colt Stone Group. Also, happy birthday, Willie Aggie from the Familia. Happy third birthday tonight to this young gentleman. This is Xander J. Villanueva. Many more to come. Say Mommy, Daddy, and your brothers and sisters. Everybody's in there. Happy birthday to Leilani Perez. And a very happy birthday to our very... Aww. That picture does not do her justice because her smile is literally ear to ear. If you ever <laughs> see her, she will greet you. She'll tell you a joke. She'll ask you if you want a drink. And she is celebrating a birthday. Happy birthday, Betty Ann Guerrero. And this... I caught it that time. All right. Good All job. Right. That was for Betty Ann. Stay tuned. Up next in the mix with Jonah Gonchartis. Closed captioning is brought to you by IT&E Life in Motion.
Coffee Day Guam. Welcome to another episode of In the Mix. I'm Jonah Goncharfis. Thanks so much for tuning in. A great show lined up for you this evening. Coming up, I-94's Andy Wheeler joins us from Moses in Haganya with another recipe using Johnsonville chorizo. A little bit later, we have another edition of Heineken to light up your weekend. I will close the show tonight with music from Jarvis and Olay when they performed on Live Local Fridays on Guam's favorite I-94. But first, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And what better way to enjoy that meal than with a fantastic view of Tumon Bay. Here's more with the breakfast menu at Sells Barbecue in Tumon. A good breakfast fuels you up and gets you ready for the day. With that being said, Sales Barbecue in Tumon, Guam's exclusive restaurant located right on the soft sands of Tumon Bay, is doing something new, offering a delightful sunrise breakfast menu that is sure to entice breakfast and morning lovers alike. Officially launched at the beginning of this month, Sales Barbecue Breakfast is available seven days a week. Restaurant manager for Nana's Cafe and Sales Barbecue, DJ Ezra. We first launched a uh, breakfast menu on October 1st. Our operation time starts from 6.30 to 10.30. We want to start a little bit early, but some of the uh, restaurants up on the street, they open 7, so we want to catch the crowd before they do. According to Ezra, the breakfast menu was launched to coincide with all the exciting happenings and changes occurring. You can see inside, it totally changed. New look, brand new look, even the outside too. So might as well put in the breakfast to add it on for something to develop this place. To go along with the best view of Tumon Bay is a delicious breakfast menu that is sure to satisfy every taste bud. We have a very, very, how do you say that, uh, fantastic menu. Um, my favorite is going to be either salmon, smoked salmon, or the uh, locomoco. Enticing indeed. Choose from the selection of Eggs Benedict, smoked salmon, crab cake, or the classic, all made from scratch. You can have the traditional omelet, which is served with bacon or sausage, hash browns or rice, and toast. Or my favorite, the chamarita frittata, which has chunks of chorizo sausage, potatoes, onions, and tomatoes, topped with a trio of cheeses. Have a heartier appetite? No problem. Sells Barbecue has got you covered. From filet steak and eggs with house gravy to the uber popular Chamorro Loco Moco, which is a handmade beef patty atop of a bed of rice, island gravy topped with a sunny side egg and Chamorro sausage, something that Ezra says makes their Loco Moco stand out. It puts a little kick inside and makes it like spices up a little bit, so I love that. Yummy. Now those who love the classics, you can order up buttermilk pancakes, Belgian waffles, or French toast. I highly recommend the breakfast sets, which include orange or apple juice and coffee or hot tea. It is a reasonable price too. Some people might think it's on a Tumon Bay and it might be like expensive, but it is not. It's the same as the rest of the standalone restaurants. The mastermind and culinary genius behind this tasty menu is corporate executive chef for Guam Plaza, Dennis Salenga, and he's no stranger to the island food scene. Salenga has over 25 years of experience working for local hotels, most recently as the executive chef for Hilton Guam Resort and Spa, where he had been since 1993. But now he brings his talent and expertise to Guam Plaza, where he's been for about a year. We decide to open some breakfast. So we have a new uh, menu that, you know, like I said uh, earlier about uh, breakfast, it's always have some like uh, a little bit vibe of strong, waking up in the morning, cook some fried eggs, steak, you know, uh, egg benedict and waffle, of course. Chef Dennis is committed to sourcing fresh local ingredients whenever possible to ensure quality food. We really do it from uh, from, uh, from like a local type of things. It's all from, from the island, you know, trying to make the, introduce our, our, our own here in Guam, especially like, you know, uh, tropical type of uh, foods that we have some fruits here and then we have the coconut and then, and then we have all different kind of product that we can get it to mix it up together, infuse with our, our breakfast things that you can, you can, you can explain to the customer that they can really try the good, you know, good, good quality of food that we're serving from a, a sales and barbecue. Make it a point to check out the Sunrise Breakfast at Sales Barbecue today and enjoy the one and only oceanfront breakfast on Guam. We have the best view right here, right on the bay, on the Tumon Bay. And our menu, of course, is really delicious. You need to come and stop by and try that. 
it's a place that fits for the whole family to come out and enjoy. Remember, available daily from 6.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. For more information, head over to www.guamplaza.com or find them on Facebook. To make reservations, you can call 649-7760 or 649-6262 after 5 p.m. And don't forget to tell them that In The Mix sent you. Don't go anywhere because when we return, I-94's Andy Wheeler joins us with another recipe using Johnsonville chorizo. You're watching In The Mix. Many of the issues that truly matter to our people remain unresolved, and many of the new opportunities to move our island forward have gone unaddressed. I'm Felix Camacho, and I'm running to be Guam's next delegate to Congress because I have a proven record of effectively partnering with the federal government to get things done for our island, a partnership that I believe our people need now from our delegate. We've done it before, and I believe that it is time to do it again. Please vote Felix Camacho for Congress, paid for by the Committee to Elect Camacho for Congress 2016. Gregorio Calvo, Treasurer. I'm Felix Camacho, and I approve this message. Hello, my name is Jason Cruz. 25 years ago, lupus has left me blind and without the full use of my legs. But don't feel sorry for me. I'm a school guidance counselor and a champion bodybuilder. Just like Ben Servino, he never let his disability get in the way of serving the people of Guam. Please vote for Ben Santos Servino, our voice for Guam. Vote Ben Servino for Senator. I would ask my parents because they would probably say yes. My family members. Your parents. Someone you know. You know them better than a stranger. If he has a stranger, the stranger might take us away. Like when something breaks, you fix it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm Army. Were you all by yourself? When somebody's by their self and nobody's with them. Banking doesn't have to be confusing, even for us grown-ups. At Bank of Guam, we keep it simple. Come see us. For 20 years, Matson has been an important part of our everyday lives. Bringing in the cars we drive, the food we eat, and the materials that helped build our homes. From caring for our land through the Adaki Itanu program to generously supporting our local charity, Matson has contributed to the preservation and growth of our island. On behalf of those you've served throughout your 20 years on Guam, Jesus Maasi Matson. Create new jobs and business opportunities. Continue shaping a smaller and more efficient government. Bring the highest honor and respect to our veterans protect life. These are some of the most important tenets of the Republican Party of Guam, and you will see these values in action with a new Republican majority in the legislature and a Republican in Congress. It's time to change the voice. For the good of the people, it's time to vote Republican. Hoffaday and welcome back. This week, I-94's Andy Wheeler joins us from Moses in Hagania with a delicious recipe using Johnsonville chorizo. Here's more. All right, special edition of Cooking with Johnsonville. Usually we're in the kitchen. This time we're taking over someone else's kitchen. We are down here in the heart of Hagania at Moses Joint. If you have not been here, 
you know, you, well, you need to get here. But if you have, you know that they take uh, all these classic dishes and they put a little bit of a spin on them. And that's what we're going to do today with Johnsonville. We're going to be uh, cooking with uh, Stephen and Jason here. Uh, Chef Stephen, what are we going to be making today? Uh, so we're going to take a Southern San Diego uh, style uh, taco. Oh, that's much, SoCal. Yeah, pretty much what we're going to do is usually the Johnsonville sausages in case, but we're going to take it out of its casing. Um, we're going to show its true form um, before the casing, and then we're actually going to go ahead and put together a uh, two types of tacos, one soft taco and one tostada. So we're making a SoCal chorizo taco two different ways with an empanada shell. Yes, sir. All right. So we're, what are we going to start with, Jason? We're going to start with our sausage. Start with cutting the sausage. Okay. You cut the casing. So it's just going to take it out of the casing, which, uh, you know, you can do this with any of the Johnsonville sausages, the bratwurst, the Italian sausage. Uh, you've seen it on previous editions of the show. Uh, take it out, put it in spaghetti sauce. Start cooking this up. So, Stephen, walk us through the process here while Jason's doing the work. What are we going to do next? All right. So, pretty much as of right now, we're going to go ahead and take our toast out our shells. Um, Jay's actually here. I'm going to use this one. We're actually going to go ahead and start frying it in. Now, we're using a python to actually hold it down so it can give you that, have that nice taco shell. Um, oh, it you know, shapes you, it in the fryer. Yeah, okay, that, right. On. So, we're shaping it in the fryer. We have one uh, that's actually going, and that's going to be for a. Uh, the soft taco so All two right. different kind of tacos you know you have the soft one you have the tostada because everybody wants something different so yeah. you know you're cooking for the kids two of them want soft yeah. tacos one of them wants a crispy you got to make one for both yeah. all right so jay's about done with his and i'm about done with this right here so we're gonna go ahead and start all right now so this we got is our, our soft, soft taco and this is our hard taco and there's the crunchy yep this is our tostada so right now we're taking our chorizo and we're actually plating it down it's kind of nice to get a nice char on the chorizo. It yeah, gives it right. a little bit more uh, flavor. Brings so you get a nice char when you're actually doing this. So we're going to go ahead and um, add a little bit of avo sauce. Now this avo sauce is actually has uh, jalapenos, uh, cilantro, and avocado, and just a little bit of the jalapeno juice just to actually get it to break down while we're getting it pureed. Oh, wow. Now what we're going to do actually is uh, we, even though we have a country effect, to the, a, cr a cr crunchy, uh, what's that? Um, effect to this one for this we still would you know like to add a little bit of uh raw onion well you want those different textures throughout the thing you get that crunch and if the inside is just mush it's yeah. just kind of like ah so you add the fresh veggies that you got onions throwing in some what cabbage now yep some uh fresh fresh thinly sliced fresh cabbage and, and we also you have guys the buy local as much as you can here oh, of course we do and then also we have here we have our crema our crema uh consists of calamansi chipotle uh, cilantro and sour cream. Now this is going to go right over there and then pretty much we're just going to go ahead and garnish with some fresh cilantro. See, these guys, they make it look way easier than I do. Uh, here in most is Steven, Jason. I got to thank you guys so much. Uh, again, this is going to be available to everybody on Guam. Tell us one. Uh, so pretty much it's going to be available from um, October 27th to about November 4th. Hours of operations uh, are pretty much Monday through Saturday. Um, Monday through Fridays are 8, um, or sorry, 11 o'clock to about 9 o'clock. And then on Friday, Saturdays, we're open from 11 to uh, 10 o'clock. Um, we are closed on Sundays, unfortunately, but definitely you can check us out there in the week just to get some really good grub. I didn't hear a word he said. I'm looking at this taco right now. So. <laughs> uh, Jason, uh, Stephen, thank you guys so much. We're going to dig into this. Most is joined in the heart of Agatha. Come on down and try these starting October 27th. I called the soft one. Enjoy, Enjoy guys. Softy. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. How's that? How's that? Mm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you guys for mm. tuning in. Appreciate it. Johnsonville. Johnsonville sausage. Get this now. And don't talk with your mouth full. Sorry, Mom. And for all the recipes we featured, make sure to log on to youtube.com slash KUM News. Stick around. We have Heineken Light Up Your Weekend when In The Mix returns. Hi, I'm interested in one of your new Samsung devices. I have the one just for you. We're increasing the amount of 4G LTE data on our new rate plans, giving people more of what they want to do more of the things they want. So what do you think? Nice.
Why aren't you training for the Coco's Kids Race, bro? Shoot, not even fair, bro. I'll just win that. Boom. Calling all parents. Sign your kiddos up for this costume run October 29th. Register now at GuamCocoRoadRace.com. As our delegate to Congress, Madeline Berdayo has been a champion for Guam and has worked every day to improve our island. In 2005, Madeline passed legislation that made all of Guam a federal hub zone. This has allowed me to compete for federal contracts and expand my business. She understands how hard it is for small businesses and that we contribute immensely to our local economy. I know my business wouldn't be where it is today without her leadership in Congress. Madeline is always listening to the veteran. Whenever we have a problem, I know that we can go to her and she will immediately get to work. She got the money to build our clinic and she is working to expand it and get more doctors for us. She is fighting for legislation that could upgrade from veterans' middles to the Medal of Honor. Madeline Berdalio has a strong record of results for Guam. Let's build on the progress she has made and re-elect her as our voice in Congress. I'm Madeline Berdalio, and I approve of this message. Pizza Hut makes the best pizza in the entire universe, but they won't tell you that. I've been marooned on this planet for a while now. You are an impressive race. Your children know excellent hiding places. Your oceans aren't filled with lava. And you figured out how to combine a grilled cheese sandwich with a Pizza Hut pizza. Surely interstellar travel will soon follow. And then I can finally get back home. Round. Round like home. The grilled cheese stuffed crust pizza. Proof that no one out pizzas the hut. Guam's auto appearance specialist, Elegant Reflections, has been providing the automotive industry with professional detailing and car care products at its highest quality from complete detailing, full interior detailing, exterior detailing, headlamp restoration, hand washing, seat and carpet shampoo, engine degreasing, undercarriage cleaning, paint sealant, fabric protection, paint oxidation removal, and so much more. Visit us at our new location. Call 646-5555 for an appointment. Elegant Reflections, Guam's auto appearance specialist. Over 20 years of experience. And we're back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Here's this week's installment of Heineken Light Up Your Weekend. Company Taylor Salas here with Felix Reyes. I'm the executive director for the FD Endowment Foundation. Have you tried Heineken Light before? Sir? No, it's my first time. I, oh. I love the drink. How do you it's, like it? You... It is light, but it's not the, like other light beers. It's really easy to drink, and it's uh, it really tastes tastes good. Wow! Did you know that Heineken Light is only 99 calories? No, I did not know that. Fun fact. Tonight's event benefits the FD Endowment Foundation. What class are you here with tonight? The FD class of 1974. Who are you, who are you here with tonight? I'm here with a bunch of my classmates. A bunch of your yeah, classmates? Having a good time. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're there. welcome. Okay. I would like to take the, a, a real quick opportunity to thank uh, Heineken Light for hosting this and for choosing the FD Endowment Foundation as the beneficiary for this uh, benefit tonight. Thank you very much. Today, Taylor Salas here with Mars Johnson. Um, hi, Mars. Have you tried Heineken Light before? I tried it once before. I really like it. I'm glad it's in Guam. You like it? Awesome. Um, did you know that Heineken Light is an award-winning beer? I did not. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite food pairing here tonight? Um, I really like the uh, wasabi mashed potatoes with the braised beef. So it's pretty good. <laughs> Today, Taylor Salas here with Vera and Katrina. So, Vera, have you tried Heineken Light before? No, but this is my first time trying it. And you like it? I love, I love it. It's 99 calories, and um, you know, after a hard day's work, you sometimes just want to have a drink, but not have anything that's like too many calories and too filling. And this was really perfect for it. 
Awesome. And uh, Katrina, what was your favorite food pairing here today? Um, I really liked it with the pork sandwich and with the pizza, but actually it tasted good with everything else too that I tried here tonight.